ain't a snow bunny on earth. If you can find her, find her. Show me a snow bunny who going to say she has some of this chocolate milk with her vanilla cookies. You can't find one. Find me a snow bunny who's going to go live. I don't want no secrets. I don't do secrets. You got something to say about me. I want it live for the world to see. Show me the snow bunny who said Dr. Umar gave me some of his chocolate milk with my vanilla cookies. Find it. Find it. You got it. You got it. Oh my God. Look at it. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And we got to talk about Dr. Umar Johnson because he got caught drinking milk. After all that, talk about you got to be with the black woman, brother. It's the black woman, brother. He got caught drinking some milk. And then he made the excuse after he got caught drinking milk, talking about some. Nah, I was actually headed to the Apple store and she was selling incense and crystals. So I wanted to go and get some incense and crystals so I could get my chakras right. No, no, way! it's not what you think. This is a big misunderstanding. You've got to believe me. I... Listen, I am telling you, you better listen to me, SpongeBob. You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? Like, <laughs> come on, Uma. You clearly was spitting game. She got her phone out. You looking over, you like, yeah, slide my digits in the phone. You know what I'm saying? Slide my digits in the phone. Oh, my God. The mother of Mega is right here before me. Do my eyes not deceive me, or am I looking at the goddess Isis herself? Can you, uh, can you do me a favor, my brown skin angel? Can you tap that white girl for me? My milk of magnesia. Oh, after the devil made you, he broke the mold. Well, maybe you and I could, uh, Make a little jungle fever. And listen, you guys have to understand. <laughs> you have to understand. I get it. Listen, that milk wasn't even regular milk, okay? That milk had a little stink on it. She was this close to being spoiled milk, but not quite. You could tell she had some black in her before. She was almost chocolate milk. She was this close to being chocolate milk. Did y'all see her when she was backing up Umar's lot? Here we are. We are at the infamous stand that was seen in the video yesterday, okay? Hi, guys. So <laughs> She's like, hello. So you see, one, it is right by the bistro bar. So relax, y'all. He was right here. He wasn't at the food court. He was here. The Apple store is right there. He literally came in and... So he walked in and he was looking at my incense and our incense are handmade, they're mm -hmm. fresh, we sell natural remedies like yes. essentials, we have crystals. And what's we the name of your business? My business is Asian Infusions, well our family business, Bingo. it's me, my uncle, my whole family, my grandfather. She couldn't even keep her clothes on, that girl was ready to go. She like, put your number in my phone, Umar. He like, here, take my number. She's ready to go. Her, her bra falling off. She pulling her shirt up. She pulling her dress down. She got her little V-box out. She's ready to go. Umar was ready to get into that. Listen, Umar, we not drunk blaming you for drinking a little glass of milk every now and then. Ain't nothing wrong with a little glass of milk every now and then. Listen, I don't trust no man who tell me he only deal with one race of women. If you a white man and you gonna try to tell me you only like white girls, so you telling me if a black girl come and she fine as hell, she got that big old bubble butt, you're not gonna talk to her because she black, get out of here. You know you're gonna drink that chocolate. You know you want that cocoa. You know you want that butterscotch. Just like I don't believe black dudes gonna try and tell me, oh, I don't talk to white women. I only talk to black women. So you telling me a white woman come around you, she looking super pretty. She got those big old breasts like macadamia nuts. You're not gonna talk to her because she white. We don't believe you. You need more people. Let me tell you guys something. I like all flavors of women. It don't make me no difference. I see a white woman and she looking like a good, clean cup of milk. I'm gonna be like, yo, what's good? If I see a fine Hispanic chick, I'm gonna be like, hola, como estas? My me, come get some taquito with me. Come get some tequila. We gonna be getting it popping. If I see a fine Asian woman, let me tell you something. I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna learn Chinese. I'm gonna be like this. Yeah, I'm Chinese. And what? I don't know why y'all gon' yeah. be Chinese. Y'all gon' learn Chinese. When the pumps go off, y'all gon' speak Chinese. This, it don't make me no difference. I'm turning up. I don't trust no man who say people. You guys gotta understand. Uma been a liar since like I was a kid. You guys gotta realize. Uma been trying to collect money for this school since I was in college. I'm 30 years old right now. Uma been collecting money for this school. I went from the dorm room to the rooftop downtown and he's still collecting money for this school. This school is still not open and y'all still paying him. Let me tell you something. You can't trust nobody who claims to be pro-black. Pro-black is the biggest scam there is. All the pro-black people are scammers. Listen, there's three groups of black men that you never trust, okay? 
the hood dude, the pookies and the ray rays, all right, for obvious reasons, because they'll kill you, because they'll blow your head off, because they'll bang your chick behind your back, they don't care. You get what I'm saying? Then you don't trust the black dudes who speak like preachers. Dr. Umar speaks like a preacher. Any black dude who speaks like a preacher, you can't be trusted. Dr. Umar be out here talking about some, I'm a descendant of Frederick Douglass. I'm a descendant. He repeats everything twice and he say whatever. I'm a descendant. First of all, he said he's a descendant of Frederick Douglass. You should have knew he was lying right then. But then he talked like a preacher. All black preachers be lying. They be sitting there spitting the word of the Lord and then they be backed in the congregation. They be smashing their congregation. They be smashing your auntie, they be smashing your mom, and got a whole wife at home, and preaching the word of God. They be waiting for your little sister to turn 18, your little cousin to turn 18, your daughter to turn 18. As soon as they do, the dick is in the pastors be up in their face talking about some, ooh, you done grew up now. You can't trust no black man who talk like a preacher. And number three, you can't trust no black man who claiming to be your brother, and you don't know him. Let me tell you something, that's number one manipulation too. If you anywhere, the black man come up to you, what's up my brother, how you doing brother? He give you this fish, you already know he wants something. Whenever a black man come up to me, I don't know him. And he called me brother I'll be like yo What do you want What you need A ride What you need Some money What you need <laughs> You need to swipe my car What do you need Cause why you call me brother I don't know you Pro blacks fake All the pro blacks are fake They all scammers Brother polite Major scammer Young Pharaoh got y'all to donate him money to sue YouTube. This man came on YouTube and said, yo, I need y'all to donate me some money so I can sue YouTube. How are you going to sue YouTube when you collecting the money on YouTube? Why would YouTube let you get collect money to sue them? Then YouTube kicked them off because y'all was too retarded to know that he was scamming y'all. And you know what he did? He took y'all money, brought shrooms, got high, and started beating on his baby mama. Come on now. All those pro blacks are scammers. Tariq, this shit be getting y'all too. I give Tariq this. At least we all give him money to produce the movie. He produced the movie. But at the end of the day, he be talking about white women, white people, white supremacy this, white supremacy that. But his wife's half white. His wife's half white. Let me tell you guys something. White supremacy is not even something you should be worried about. Because the country's about to be mixed anyway. The country about to look like California. You about to see a whole bunch of Patrick Mahomes and Steph Curry's running around. Time Magazine told y'all this years ago. Between interracial dating and the Hispanics and the black population, this country is going to be colored anyway. And let me tell you guys something else. The Asians are coming into power. Y'all better learn Chinese because <laughs> the Asians are coming into power. So what you worried about white supremacy for when white people are about to be a minority and the Asians are about to have control and power? Y'all too easy to manipulate. Y'all be out here getting manipulated left and right. You got to understand. That's where the country is heading at the end of the day. Y'all talking about white supremacists. These dudes old as hell. All these dudes with Confederate flags. All these dudes talking about white supremacy old as hell. They like the Rockefellers. They are like they fourth or fifth heart transplant. They about to die. And y'all worried about them. Oh, it's white supremacy. They about to die. The white supremacy is dying out. These new age white folks. Listen, for every one white racist you find nowadays, it's like eight of them who not. Nobody cares about that anymore. We in the softest generation of all time. You think these white people still racist? They want to fight for the right right now for uh, someone to be able to identify as a boy who's a girl and as a girl who's a boy. If they want people to be able to identify as a squirrel, they want people to call you they. They like, yo, if they don't want to be identified as he or she, you call them they. They kicked someone out of the school because he called a girl a girl. He said, it's not a girl, it's a they. What the hell is a they? And y'all think these people who are this soft is racist? These people are not racist. Come off that, man. That's a hustle. That's the easiest way to get black. The black community is the easiest community to scam. YouTube be having to stop y'all from getting scammed. YouTube be like, all right, cool. You've took enough advantage of the black people. Stop taking their money. YouTube had to save y'all pockets. People be running y'all pockets. Black Lives Matter ran y'all pockets. They took that money. Nobody asked what Black Lives Matter did with that money. They took that money. They was going on vacations with y'all money. They was buying rental properties with y'all money. Y'all didn't even know. The white man had to stop them. Y'all the easiest community to manipulate. People, the white man literally has to come in and stop black people from taking advantage of black people because that's how goofy y'all be. They be like, yo, chill. Stop doing that to them. Give them some of that money back. Y'all got to stop being so gullible. This man said he's a descendant of Frederick Douglass. <laughs> and y'all was like, yeah, it seems legit. Black power. Come on, son. <laughs> Open your ears and close your mouth. That's the problem. Everybody who's black always wants to talk. Open your ears and close your mouth. <laughs> Understand that. <laughs> Pay attention to what's going on. Stop being so easy to manipulate. Listen, at the end of the day, Umar, we don't got no problem with you liking a glass of milk. Just stop capping. 
Just stop capping. Listen, just ask for donations. We in the age of begging for super chats. You don't got to pretend you're opening a school no more, Umar. This is what you need to do. Make you a YouTube channel, and you can go live on YouTube, and you can talk your pro-black rhetoric, okay? You can talk about how we used to be kings and clangs, and how everyone should deal with black women, even though you sneaking behind black and dealing with a white chick. It's all good. And just ask for super chats. Instead of begging for donations for a school, just beg for super chats. Tell them, yo, I'm going to shut the show down if y'all don't give me no super chats. Give me super chats. That's the new hustle. You don't got to pretend to open a school. You don't got to do that no more. Just be like, yo, I need super chats. If you don't give me super chats, I'm setting the stream down. Where's my super chats? That's all you got to do. That's all I'm saying to you. You like milk. You like milk. You ain't got a lot of me. You ain't got Derek Jackson me. Derek Jackson out here talking to black, well, black woman queen. Black woman queen. Y'all some dogs. Y'all some cheaters. Came out. He was a cheater. He still got a fan base. You ain't got to do all that. Just come on YouTube. Go live. Talk your pro black talk and tell them to send you super chats. Tell them to send you cash apps. Tell them if they don't, you're going to shut down the stream. You can make your money that way. You don't got to lie no more. You don't got to lie about the school. You don't got to lie about like black women. It's not necessary. We understand, Umar. It's all good, Umar. I'm not even doing this to be mad at you. I'm just saying. It's all good. I want you to know this is a safe space. You don't got to do that no more. You free. You free, brother. You don't got to do that no more. Listen. <laughs> I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.